My name is Dr. Steve Rondo. I'm one of the doctors here at Holness Center, and uh, I oversee the neurofeedback program. And I'm here today to tell you about what is neurofeedback. So neurofeedback is a form of therapy that allows an individual to see in real time what's going on in their brain. And so how we do that is by hooking up uh, non-invasive sensors to the scalp of their uh, of an individual's head. And then we can see uh, on a computer screen what's happening underneath of those sensors. And so this allows us to uh, actively monitor individual places of a person's brain and be able to tell which areas are functioning either uh, well or which areas might be struggling. And so we can use this as a way to uh, show them in real time what areas we want to change and how that might improve their symptoms. So neurofeedback, uh, as the name implies, allows us to see the individual's brain waves and then also feed that back to them in a way that they can control. There's various conditions that neurofeedback can be helpful for. What's definitely been the most published tends to be ADHD and seizures. There's certain established patterns with learning issues, um, addictions, anxiety, stress, um, depression has some well-established patterns and, uh, that we can, we can work on, we can manipulate. Sleep and mood issues, um, autism has uh, well-established patterns that we're seeing more and more. Strokes is another area where people are doing work. Tourette syndrome or, or, or tics or those sorts of things can be useful uh, with neurofeedback as well. Cerebral palsy, uh, headaches, migraines tend to be useful as well. Uh, anger and emotional type of behavioral issues can be, um, can be useful with neurofeedback too. And in fact, tends to be one of the more common areas where people come in for neurofeedback is when people have like mood and outburst issues um, and, and issues with regulation tends to be one of the more common areas we see kids here at the center. Through the process of neurofeedback, what we do is we initially will do an EEG to be able to assess where the problematic areas might be coming from and to identify if there is even a problematic area that we're dealing with and perhaps uh, be able to evaluate if it's a behavioral type of issue, an environmental type of issue, or if it's truly a, an organic type of problem. And so we can identify those different patterns in the EEG um, with, with a, a process called QEG analysis, which essentially takes EEG and puts it into topographical maps so that you can see where the different brainwave patterns are distributed. And certain patterns are associated with certain conditions. And so what we want to do is identify if you have those, those patterns that um, are associated with the symptoms that you're, you're talking about and then be able to manipulate those. So through the sessions, we're not actually doing anything to you. The, it, it would be much like a coach or a uh, personal trainer or something that would be coaching you to uh, when you're doing well, maybe when you're struggling, and be able to, to help you realize when you're, when you're doing what we want you to do or where your strong suits are to be able to, um, to enhance that better. You're not having electricity through your head. There's no, there's no pain or feeling associated with it other than perhaps being more relaxed or more focused or perhaps even if you're working hard, be tired when you're done. I think that's one of the, the, the positive suits that people um, will seek out neurofeedback for is because it's not, it's not unlike a medication where something's actually being done to you or other sorts of uh, more invasive therapies where maybe there's some current that's sent through the, through the, the scalp into the brain. It's not like that. It's, it's more showing you how to do that and then strengthening the areas that need strengthening and maybe inhibiting some of the areas that are overactive.